Clash of Clans is rewarding players for taking a short break. Well, that's kind of interesting. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show. And if you've played Clash of Clans over the last few years, you probably know that if you took a break, an automatic upgrade feature would activate on your village. Now, this feature was added way back in June of 2020, and you had to be offline for 90 days or more. When you log back into the account, you would be challenged by the villager and have to attack your village with an unlimited amount of troops. And this then the villager would guide you through the automatic building and laboratory upgrades that were completed while you were offline. It's also important to note that the town hall will not be upgraded automatically. So if you're a town hall nine, when you go offline, it will be town hall nine when you come back. Now here's where things get interesting. In the October 2023 update, Clash of Clans made a few changes to this feature. Instead of having to be offline from your village for 90 days, the feature will now activate after 35 days of inactivity. What's even more more interesting is that after attacking your own village, now you get a reward for each day you log into the game. And I don't know about you guys, but these rewards are amazing. We got a book of building on day two and a hammer of building on day seven. Also, when you claim a reward, a timer will activate for the next day's rewards. You also get the following perks. Four times star bonus for five days, a training boost worth nine days, and a set of special challenges and special rewards track if you're playing Town Hall 7 or higher. Town Hall 6 and below still get the starter challenges. Now, these returning player challenges expire after three days. So I decided to do one challenge, which was like join a clan, and I claimed about 100 points. Once you get the 35 day re-engagement rewards track, there's a six month cooldown before it appears again. So of course, I got curious to see what happened after three days passed with the special rewards and challenges. And I also wanted to see if we missed out on one of these daily rewards if I did not log back in. Five days later. All right, so when I logged back into the account after five days passing, I was greeted by a screen for those special returning player challenges being paid out. After referencing the rewards track, I discovered the special challenges did in fact work like the starter challenges, meaning you don't actually have to complete them. They automatically pay out all the rewards. So this is what I got. 1.7 million gold, 730,000 elixir plus four gems due to storage limitations and 13,500 dark elixir. I was also offered the day two reward out of the seven daily login rewards. So basically you don't have to log in daily. The last reward that was under timer will be available when you log back into the game. And then if you take a few days, you come back, the third day should be available. Very interesting that they did it that way. And if that wasn't enough for you, when those special challenges ended, the normal season pass challenges activate with a twist. The tutor comes up on the screen with the message, don't tell anyone, but I gave you some points to help you finish the season. So based on this account that I don't actually play and six days, 16 hours left in the October season pass, the game basically gave me 1,480 points to unlock all of these rewards without doing anything. So basically, I get a bunch of magic items and a decent amount of free resources by not even playing the account. Now, I find this to be a very special surprise for players that are coming back to Clash of Clans, but I also don't feel it's very fair for people that grind Clash of Clans all the time or play every single day. But let's think about this. That day two reward, which was a book of builds Building. How often do we get those? We got them maybe every couple months by playing in clan games, and normally they can be found in the last tier of the rewards, which requires an active clan with members who are willing to rack in points for clan games just to achieve that tier of reward. What about that hammer of building? It's available in the league shop for 120 league medals. And again, it requires an active clan and players who are willing to participate in clan war leagues. I just find all of it very interesting as an active player of the game. And it raises a very difficult question to ask. Is Clash of Clans rewarding players to take a break? And would you log out for 35 days to get those rewards and play a different account. Maybe start a new one? And if you enjoyed this video, maybe you'd like to see the pros and cons of playing Clash on PC.